I just messed up so, so bad. Day two of this immuno. I'm about to make my secondary antibody. Let me see, actually, hold on. Actually, I have to do washes. So let's start washes, and then we'll make our secondary antibody, and then we'll figure out this ink cartridge situation. And yeah, let's do it. I seriously love my lab mates. They know I'm vlogging and they're not judging me, which is amazing, but I sometimes still feel kind of awkward to like include them. Cause I like haven't asked them like, do you want to be in it? But I love them, like could not have gotten a better lab. Okay, so we got our slides and now we're going to start washes. I have to wash them with tween. Girl. Okay. Okay, so I got my handy dandy bottle. We put stuff in tin foil when we have baked it. So you put stuff in like this machine that makes it extremely hot and it kills like all form of life. Okay, let's do it. Where am I gonna put you? Here, you're on my slide box. Is that comfy? No. Okay, 500 milliliters of PBS. So it's 500 milliliters, 5,000 micro. Let me look that up. Okay, it is not. So I guess I could just eyeball this to 500. Actually, I'm gonna pour it in something. Okay, this is 500 ml. Bam, 500. I put it here. Okay, so I got my 500 milliliters of PBS. 500 ml PBS of 1x PBS and 250 micro of tween. So I'm gonna grab my 1,000 and I'm gonna make it say 250. 250 yeah, yeah. and then I'm gonna grab the tween. So two, five, oh, perfect. Tween. Every step of an immuno is the most important step. So I got my tween right here. I'm gonna go in this pipette. Ah, tween is kind of viscous. I didn't expect that. I'm gonna suck it up one more time just to make sure I got 250. Slowly. I feel like there's like an air bubble in there. Okay, third try is a charm. Okay, it looks the same every single time I suck it up, so I'm just gonna go with it. I have to mix it up a little bit so it all becomes homogenous, but you can't make bubbles. Now we gotta label it so everyone knows what it is. Eee, it's leaking. Yikes. Are you guys ready for washes or not? No. This takes about an hour, so let's run it, people. Got our slides. Gonna get our little dishes. I have to pour out. We're gonna put on gloves because we're working with antibodies and that's sketchy. Oh, my gloves match my shirt. Just dumping off primary so that I can wash. Also gonna put this away because we clean after ourselves. For that to dry. <laughs> we're washing, we're washing. Okay, okay, okay. Now we gotta cover them up because they are light sensitive. And yeah, five minutes. Every time I say PBS, I think of PBS. <laughs> yeah. Set timer for 10 minutes. We're just Do you wanna be in the vlog? She's making a video. Do you wanna be in it? <laughs> no. to 1,000 and a 1 to 500. Donkey and T-Rat. Donkey and T-Rabbit.
fans. Okay, so I just did my last wash and next we will do secondary antibody incubation. I finished the last wash. I optimized the conditions to place the secondary antibody, which is just a fancy way of saying I kind of dried everything that needs to be dry. And now I'm about to place the secondary antibody. Actually, I like to centrifuge this down first. So let's do that. Okay. That must slide here. I'm gonna start with like 250. I'd rather place a little less and then I have to add more rather than add too much. Okay, let's see. Like there's something. Making more tween for more washes because today is a bunch of washes, people. So. My secondary antibody is dancing. Uh. I also need to make more PBS. But first, tween. This one shouldn't leak because it's not broken. And then I'm just gonna add a note saying with tween. Okay, with tween. Wow, that's so ugly. What does that even say? Things are going great. Okay, so I have another 54 minutes until I have to start washes and it's 11.30, so I will probably figure out this cartridge situation and then make PBS. Is this in play? Yep. Oh. So actually same size, a monkey is 1.5 times stronger than you. Oh, yeah. they're probably like three times stronger than me. Mm -hmm. They're pet monkeys because they are tiny. You can have pet monkeys. Yeah. Secondary is done, so I'm about to start my washes. So I'm washing with PBS with tween and by the way, tween just is like a detergent so that it kind of perforates the, the tissue so like the antibody can get in there. So now I'm washing, we're washing. There's like a 10 to $12 fee to, to schedule a pickup, but UPS comes by all the time, so I'm just gonna wait until I see someone and ask them to pick it up. And time for the next wash. Tending skills. Hey Siri, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. Okay, I need to make PBS, so let's do that. Washes are done, so now I'm going to dry off my slides with Kim wipes and 
apply this Southern Biotech Floral Mount G, which helps like maintain the fluorescence. But first, gloves. You like those editing skills? Okay, where's my Kim wipes? It was at this moment that she f***ed up. Try to spread it around. I just saw a UPS bag. Did you no, drop it? Yeah, I gave it to you. Ah, you're the best! Ink cartridge handled. No! It flipped upside down. I'm gonna put a dot on it so I know which one it was. Ugh. Okay, Vivian, what are you gonna do? Relax. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Oh, wait. These have slides on them. Did I do all of them? These don't. Okay. That threw me off. All right, now I just let it dry and then I put them on the Zeiss. I just messed up so, so bad. I was supposed to be applying this, this Southern Biotech, like I said I was, but instead I applied Triton. Oh my God. I tore every single cover slip off and started washing immediately. I'm hoping this immuno turns out okay. This is what I mean when I say every step of the immuno is the most important step. This is like the easiest part, but I made one mistake and it could ruin the whole entire two-day experiment. Oh my god. I just messed up so bad. But I talked to my lab mates about it and they gave me advice and told me that it happens to everyone and hopefully it turns out okay. So like, pray for me. Update on my total screw up. We looked under the microscope and it appears that everything is okay. We're just letting it sit in PBS and let the Triton soak off, and then I'm gonna remount without making mistakes this time. And we'll check again and make sure that like everything is cool. But so far, it's looking like it's okay. So here they are, soaking in their bath to get rid of the Triton. Okay, back at it. Applying floor mount. I did the first few on my own just to make sure I'm doing this correctly, but here are the last few. Hey, so everything was not like a complete disaster. We were able to see things and now I'm about to put my slides up in the fridge so that they don't like go bad or whatever. Sorry that this wasn't like super happy. I was like, yay, like I'm gonna like make science like cool and like show how fun it can be and like how exciting it can be. And instead it like ended in like shambles, like crashed and burned. I guess not really like totally crashed and burned, but like definitely didn't turn out the way I was expecting or like hoped. So yeah, let's put these slides away. I have my handy dandy slide box. Hey guys, 
So I'm in my car now in the parking garage, but I just wanted to like wrap this video up It was like a two-part series. I don't know what the word for this would be But I wanted to do this because I wanted to show people that you don't have to be a certain type of way A certain type of person to be a neuroscientist. You can be a young Latina girl You can be you know a young black man You can be getting into the field in your 40s 50s like it doesn't matter anyone can do this as long as you have a passion for it as long as you have a passion for anything that's why you should do something and i definitely had a huge passion for neuroscience that's why i came into this field and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know let me know i guess that's it all right see you next time